What's up everybody, this is Baker from Unit Precision. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to catch all future content. Okay, so today we're gonna address a couple questions that we get quite often on the phone uh, about our bolt action uppers. The first of which is this shiny screw on top of the receiver. It's actually a detent for your bolt and that is what keeps tension on the bolt to keep it from flopping in and out of battery. Unlike a traditional bolt action like say a Remington 700 uh, where that tension comes from the firing pin spring, that doesn't exist on an AR. And so in order to keep the bolt down, we have a spring-loaded detent on the top. Um, it can be adjusted. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy with it. A little bit goes a long way. So if you want to loosen up the bowl a little bit and have a little bit less tension, you back that screw out, feel it, get it to where you want it, and you're good to go. Um, a good test for that is to adjust it and then hold the gun or the upper upside down and make sure that bolt doesn't just flop open. If it stays in place, you're good to go on that one. Another question we get quite a bit is, do I need to lubricate the upper? Yeah, just like any other firearm, you're gonna put some lubrication on there. We would recommend dropping some oil on the handle of the bolt, and then right here on the upper side of the bolt raceway, just some gun oil, that's where we would lubricate it. And then I like to put some just on, on the rear of the, uh, the bolt face up here. It'll slick everything up and then keep everything protected. And then last, lastly, uh, we get questions quite often about the buffer and spring. So again, this is a true bolt action AR. It is an AR lower. Um, AR fire control group. Um, if you have a buffer and spring in there, you can run it with or without it. You can run the upper with or without it. Um, some guys like that, some guys don't. But be, you know, just so you're aware, when you run this on the UPR-10, uh, the bolt extends about an inch into the buffer tube. On the UPR-15, it's about 5 eighths of an inch. So if you do have a buffer and spring in there, you are gonna feel that last, that last little bit of bolt play there. It's gonna compress that spring, you're gonna feel it. When you let go, it will assist forward. That is not how you wanna load this gun. You wanna run it manually but you can you can keep the buffer and spring in there some guys like it some guys don't so we recommend that you actually try it both ways and see which way you like it it's not going to hurt anything either way and that's it if you have any other questions drop them in the comments down below thanks for watching today if you are interested in our products check them out at uinterprecision.com.